let's make another function this time it's going to this new function is going to display uh, contents of a comment of our cell so we have a cell that has a comment inserted inside if you hover over it it just reveals the comment by the way how you enter a comment into a cell is you right click on it and uh, choose insert comment and then you just type in your comment this is another comment exit out of it just click in outside and now let's make our function let's go back to our your basic editor and type function command open parentheses and here because we want to accept a um, range from outside our cell we have to um, declare a variable inside which we'll call rng as range it's the same thing as dim rng as range okay close parentheses enter application dot volatile and um, comment equals rng that's the range of that we will specify in the cell dot comment dot text so again so and I misspelled it here comment dinner so that wouldn't work you have to match these two together so rng is the range which we'll have inside a function and uh, so range dot comment dot text that's the whole function let's go back to the to excel to our document and um, here we will type equals comment open parentheses and point to the cell and close parentheses enter this is the contents of our cell here if we want to um, if you right click you get choices and you can do format cells and you could click on alignment wrap text and ok it will wrap this text inside so it will go up and down and if you double click here you probably all already know all this it's going to um, it's going to auto format it to that section that, uh, that fills the whole entire cell so here we have the comment and here our comment function reveals the the actual contents of the comment so if we if we just copy this cell down we'll get we'll get the comments from this cell because here if we double click we have comment c4 which is this one this is my comment so if you enter it says this is my comment now if we go another one down because this is where we have another one this is another comment and we also in ourself this is another comment so this is how you can now uh, you can organize your your comments you can now uh, put them in the database I don't know exactly why would you do that but some people might find it interesting so that's the end of this tutorial